Hello and welcome to Catholic Current, where we give you an update on events affecting the Church in the United States. From Washington, D.C., I'm Mara Moser. On December 12th, the Church celebrated the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, who appeared to St. Juan Diego in 1531 in Mexico. On this occasion, Bishop Mark Seitz, Chair of the Committee on Migration, issued a statement in solidarity with migrants. He said, Today I invite Catholics and all people of faith to pray that through the intercession of Our Lady of Guadalupe, we may give comfort to those forced to leave their homes, and may Our Lady be a guide to all those entrusted with the responsibility of leadership. Pope Francis also recognized the occasion, celebrating an evening Mass at St. Peter's Basilica. He reminded the faithful that Mary, our Mother, is always with us, and said that she is in the midst of migrants heading north in America. Hoy, como ayer. Today, as in the past, Our Lady of Guadalupe wants to meet us, as she did that day with Juan Diego on Tepeyac Hill. She wants to stay with us. She begs us to allow her to be our mother, to open our lives to her son Jesus, and to accept his message in order to learn to love like him. On the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, Pope Francis once again prayed for peace in Ukraine. This time, his prayers brought him to tears. Virgin Immaculata. Immaculate Virgin, today I would have liked to bring you the thanksgiving of the Ukrainian people. the Ukrainian people for the peace we have long asked the Lord for. Instead, again, I must present to you the supplication of the children, of the elderly, of the fathers and mothers, of the young people of that martyred land that is suffering so much. In reality, we all know that you are with them and with all the suffering, just as you were beside the cross of your son. Thank you, our mother. Russia has been at war in Ukraine since February 24th of this year. During his Angelus address on Gaudete Sunday, Pope Francis said that he hoped that Christmas would bring hope to children all over the world especially those living in war-torn areas like Ukraine. Advent is a time when preparing the nativity display for the baby Jesus, we learn again who our Lord is, a time to leave behind certain preconceptions and prejudices about God and our brothers and sisters. Advent is a time which instead of thinking about gifts for ourselves, we can give words and gestures of consolation to those who are wounded, as Jesus did with the blind, the deaf, and the lame. I invite you to pray before the creche that the nativity of the Lord will bring a ray of peace to children all over the world, especially those forced to live the terrible and dark days of war, this war in Ukraine that destroys many lives, so many lives, and many children. Thank you for joining us this week. You can learn more about any of these topics by visiting us online at usccb.org. I'm Mara Moser. See you next time.